Well, against the thundering environment on the roof, I'd just like to express appreciation to the Brain Foundation on behalf of my co-investigators for this research gift, which will help us achieve our aims of improving early clinical diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease, despite extraordinary research interest in understanding the basic mechanisms of dementias, including Alzheimer's disease, diagnosis still primarily relies on the observation of behavioural change, and especially changes in cognitive functions such as uh, memory and reasoning abilities. Early diagnosis is advantageous for patients because it improves care, improves the opportunities for appropriate lifestyle planning, and improves the accuracy of provision of therapeutic opportunities such as they are, behavioural or pharmacological. So a first aim in our research is to improve our understanding of cognitive assessment because unfortunately many approaches to clinical diagnosis, that is diagnosis during life, trade off accuracy and precision in the belief that brief assessments provide adequate information for a good diagnosis and we know that this isn't always the case. We want to use the best available behavioural assessments, cognitive assessments, to determine just how much cognitive assessment is useful to make an early diagnosis. We want to combine that with our second aim, which is to compare two approaches to quantitative neuroimaging using magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. And we know that an established quantitative technique for measuring the integrity of brain structures affected in Alzheimer's disease, brain structures in the medial temporal lobes, we know that this established technique is very sensitive, but it's a manual labour intensive technique which requires a skilled operator to outline on the magnetic resonance image the outline of the brain structures being measured. And that operator, <coughs> excuse me, that operator needs a very high degree of skill in neuroanatomical understanding to identify those structures. Those structures are good at, sorry, that, that manual procedure is good at plotting, charting the deterioration into a demanding illness, and it may also be a more effective way of predicting the onset. But because it's labour intensive, it's not widely utilised and not readily available for patients. Instead, there are developments in automated quantitative imaging. To date, those automated techniques have not had adequate accuracy, but new versions, we hope, may have hold out the promise of greatly improved accuracy. So we plan to compare the automated approaches to quantitative neuroimaging with the established manual techniques which our research group has particular facility with. And if the automated approaches turn out to be a valuable and accurate way to make a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, a clinical diagnosis, and may help in an early diagnosis, then we'll have available a relatively accessible and relatively inexpensive convenient way to improve the diagnosis of the disease.